Continuing our discussion, now we shall discuss about uh, the femoral sheet in detail. Okay. So first, I will draw the femoral sheet here. So what is the femoral sheet? The femoral sheet is a funnel shaped sleeve of fascia enclosing the upper 3 to 4 centimeters of femoral vessels. It is a funnel shaped, it is a funnel shaped sleeve of fascia which is enclosing upper 3 to 4 centimeters of the femoral vessels. Right? So now I will draw the femoral vessels inside. What are the femoral vessels which are present? One is one is the femoral artery, right? One is the femoral artery, and other one is the femoral vein. Okay, here we can see the other one is the femoral vein. So here the upper 3 to 4 centimeters of the femoral vessels are enclosed by a sleeve of fascia. Why we are saying it is a sleeve? Which means this fascia encloses the femoral vessels anteriorly as well as posteriorly. Which means it encircles the femoral vessels. Okay. And uh, what is this sheet? Where it is coming from? The femoral sheet is nothing but or the femoral sheet is formed by the downward extension of the two layers of the fascia of the abdomen. What is the femoral sheet? The femoral sheet is formed by the downward extension of the two layers of the fascia of the abdomen. So here you can see very clearly that the femoral sheet is bonded anteriorly as well as posteriorly because it is uh, um, covering the femoral vessels like a sleeve so that we can say the femoral sheet has anterior wall as well as posterior wall right so now the anterior wall this is the anterior wall and this is the posterior wall the anterior wall of the femoral sheet is formed by fascia fascia transversalis anterior wall anterior wall is formed by fascia transversalis this fascia transversalis lies in the deeper aspect of the anterior abdominal wall that is deep to the transverse abdominus muscle you know that uh, the anterior abdominal wall has uh, the following muscles external oblique internal oblique transverse abdominus so posterior to the transverse abdominus the structure which is present is called as the fascia transversalis so this fascia transversalis forms the anterior wall of the femoral sheet because i already told you the femoral sheet is formed by the downward extensions of the two layers of the abdomen right or uh, two layers of the fascia of the abdomen where the anterior wall is formed by the fascia transversalis which lies at the anterior abdominal wall behind the transverse abdominus and uh, the posterior wall the posterior wall is formed by fascia iliaca posterior wall is formed by fascia iliaca which covers the iliacus muscle right so this is the femoral sheet. It is a funnel shaped sleeve of fascia enclosing 3 to 4 centimeters of the femoral vessels. This sheet is formed by the downward extension of the two layers of the fascia of the abdomen where the anterior layer is formed by the fascia transversalis which is present at the anterior abdominal wall behind the transverse abdominus where the posterior wall is formed by the fascia iliaca which covers the iliacus muscle. Now inferiorly this femoral sheet merges with the connective tissue around the femoral vessels which means it is uh, 
merging with the connective tissue which is covering the femoral artery as well as femoral vein. Now if you see the structure of the femoral sheet which is a funnel shape, it is a conical in shape and it is asymmetrical, right? The femoral sheet is asymmetrical because the medial wall of the femoral sheet is oblique, extended downwards and laterally because you know that the femoral artery is lateral to the femoral vein. So this is the medial wall of the femoral sheet and this is the lateral wall of the femoral sheet. You know about anterior as well as posterior walls. The medial wall of the femoral sheet is oblique which is extending downwards laterally. But the lateral wall of the femoral sheet is vertical, right? That is the reason we can say that this femoral sheet is asymmetrical in shape. Now let us see the divisions of the femoral sheet. Okay, the femoral sheet is actually divided into three compartments. Here I will draw. For example, this is the femoral sheet, right? The femoral sheet is divided into three compartments by a septa. You can say this is the medial compartment, intermediate compartment and the lateral compartment. Okay, this is the lateral compartment, this is the intermediate compartment and this is the medial compartment, right? The lateral compartment, this is the lateral compartment, contains femoral artery. That is the reason it is called as lateral or arterial compartment. Next is the intermediate compartment. So this is the intermediate compartment or venous compartment because it contains the femoral vein. Next is the medial compartment is called as the lymphatic compartment because it contains the lymph node of Clockwet or of Rosenmuller. So here I will draw this is the lymph node. This is the lymph node. So mainly the medial compartment of the femoral sheet just contains a lymph node. Okay. So that is the reason I am telling you that the femoral sheet is divided into three compartments by a septa. The lateral most compartment is called as arterial compartment which contains the femoral artery. You already studied in, a, in the femoral triangle that the nerve which is present lateral aspect of the femoral sheet or the nerve which passes anterior to the femoral artery at the lateral aspect of the femoral sheet is the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve, right? So at the femoral sheet in its lateral aspect, I am drawing a small nerve. So lateral compartment also contains the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve, right? So here the lateral compartment is called as arterial compartment which contains femoral artery as well as the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve. The intermediate compartment contains the femoral vein. Next is the medial compartment. The medial compartment just contains the lymph node as well as some amount of areolar tissue. This lymph node is called as the lymph node of Clockwet or of Rosenmuller. This lymph node of Clockwet drains the lymph from the gland penis of males as well as the clitoris in females, right? Now, after we study about uh, this femoral sheet, let us discuss about the femoral canal. What is the femoral canal? If you see the medial compartment of the femoral sheet, which contains the lymph node of Clockwet, as well as some amount of uh, areolar tissue, is called as the femoral canal or in simple words we can say this is the medial compartment of the femoral sheet and if you see the shape of the femoral canal here it is conical in shape okay I will draw the femoral canal again here only let us discuss about uh, the medial most compartment of the femoral sheet so this is the medial most compartment of the femoral sheet so how it is present it is conical in shape where it is wider at the base when compared to that of the apex. If you see the extensions of the femoral canal, 
it is 1.5 centimeters in length and 1.5 centimeters wider at the base 1.5 centimeters length and 1.5 centimeters at the base right so these are the extensions of the femoral canal i am repeating here what is femoral canal femoral canal is nothing but called as the medial compartment of the femoral sheet right now let us see the boundaries of the femoral canal so if you see the boundaries of the femoral canal anteriorly anteriorly so let us discuss about this is anteriorly it is bounded by femoral femoral uh, sorry anterior it is formed by inguinal ligament anteriorly it is bounded by inguinal ligament now let us discuss about the medial boundary as well as the posterior boundary medially it is bounded by the concave margin of the triangular ligament called as lacunar ligament so medially it is bounded by the concave margin of lacunar ligament anteriorly inguinal ligament medially concave margin of the lacunar ligament next is posteriorly posteriorly it is formed by pectineus posteriorly it is bounded by pectineus and next is laterally it is bounded by the septa which is separating the femoral vein what are the boundaries of the femoral canal anteriorly it is bounded by the inguinal ligament medially it is bounded by the concave margin of the triangular ligament called as lacunar ligament posteriorly it is bounded by the pectineus as well as laterally it is bounded by the septum or the septa which is separating from the intermediate compartment which contains the femoral vein right so now what is the femoral ring here if you see the femoral canal the upper part of the femoral canal or the base of the femoral canal which has a opening called as femoral ring and this femoral ring is uh, closed by this femoral ring is closed by the condensation of extra peritoneal connective tissue what is the femoral ring at the base the femoral canal is wider where it has a opening the opening of the femoral canal at the base is called as the femoral ring this femoral ring is closed by the condensation of extra peritoneal connective tissue which forms the femoral septum right what is the femoral septum femoral septum is the septum which covers the femoral ring that is at the base of the femoral canal the femoral septum is nothing but it is the condensed part of extra peritoneal connective tissue right and here above the condensed part of extra peritoneal connective tissue we can see a parietal peritoneum which means a parietal peritoneum covering the septum the parietal peritoneum covering the septum above it shows a small depression for example let us think that this is the condensation part of the extra peritoneal connective tissue and here we have the parietal peritoneum this parietal peritoneum compresses the extra peritoneal connective tissue downwards creating a saucer shaped depression so the femoral septum contains a depression which is called as femoral fossa so the depression is created by the parietal peritoneum which covers above right so this is called as the femoral ring i am repeating here femoral ring is the is nothing but the opening which is present at the base of the femoral canal and this femoral ring is covered by the condensation of the extra peritoneal connective tissue which is called as the femoral septum and this femoral septum is covered by the parietal peritoneum which uh, presses this septum downwards which creates a 
saucer shaped depression called as the femoral fossa and uh, what are the contents of the femoral canal the femoral canal is the medial most compartment of the femoral sheet so this femoral canal contains i am repeating again it contains the lymph node of clockfoot or of rosenmuller mainly this lymph node drains the gland penis in males as well as clitoris in females so by this we finished the, the femoral triangle the femoral sheet as well as the femoral canal